Oh, Janie Mac, I am so tired. Hey, Michelle, hard day on the Camino. Oh, Janie, I'm glad to get this thing off. Oh, my shoulders. Well, it's bigger than you are, almost. <sighs> yeah, I know. Oh, my. <sighs> well, you've got to have your music. <laughs> How much does that weigh? That weighs more than my pack, I doesn't it? I haven't, I uh, yeah. And have you been using it? Uh, I've used it twice. Twice, okay. Twice, you know. All right. Would and you like to see what's in my pack? I would love to see what's in your pack. Oh, first, first, I have to take off these big hiking boots. Uh-huh. My God. I'm afraid to see your feet. So am I. They, they could be, oh. Whew. And the big uh, winter socks uh -huh. that you have to wear with them. Yeah. Yes, my, my pack, I think this is about, could be 10 kilos. Mm -hmm. How not to do the Camino, eh? Yeah. How to get blisters after three days. Uh-huh. So I'd like to show you what's in my Show me bag. what's in there. So I have this collection <laughs> of socks and underwear. <laughs> Because you never can have enough. And I have uh, all sorts of different colors. Yeah, you could actually yeah. have too much, okay? <laughs> and I have um, I have a good few uh, t-shirts. And because uh, I, I don't know when I'm going to do washing. That was my worry. And and how many do you wear in a day? Oh, just one. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then my but I bought this just in case I got lucky. It's kind of a black <laughs> dress. But... To go out at night. Yeah, but yeah. So have you far, worn it? I, no, so far I no, haven't used not it. yet. I'm hoping. Okay. Um, now for the cold nights, the winter <laughs> nights, I brought a, I brought a big fleece. And it is it is uh, July in in Spain. Yeah, well, it's, it makes. And a it, good it gets pillow. down to twenty. Yeah, it makes a good pillow. About seventy. <laughs> <laughs> I brought them um, a good few trousers, you know. And how many do you, of those do you wear in a day? Just one. Uh -huh. Just one. But I've got three spare ones just in case, you know, depending on the, the colors and everything. Uh -huh. Toiletries. <laughs> Obviously, you know, when you're in Spain, you can't get the things that you want. So sometimes you'll need to bring a big bottle um, so it lasts the whole four weeks. And, and did you happen to notice when we were in the store the other day, how many options there were there in Spain, actually? Yeah, the sp Spain is getting better. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's not as developed. It's not a developing country anymore. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's, it's developed. <laughs> now this one, this is my <laughs> towel, but I I don't have a travel towel, so I just picked that up. I I really didn't put a lot of planning into this, so I brought the towel. But anyway, I needed a towel. I thought in case I go snorkeling, um, <laughs> this might be useful, but. This was only a fun thing. That's just for the very, very, okay. very last day in Finisterre. Now light, that's a good one for inside the albergue. You might Whichever. well start walking with those. <laughs> <laughs> I think tomorrow. No, don't do that. <laughs> now the only, the last thing I have, I've got a bandana, which is that's useful, good. Is my sleeping bag, uh -huh. and I only have one sleeping bag. Um, but it's for minus 25, so even if I sleep outside, it's a down Your sleeping bag. bag is bigger than my entire pack. This could be really useful in case I'd be sleeping outside. Uh-huh. And um, so far, there's been no problem about sleeping outside because I've got the albergues. Um, and that's it. That's kind of... I have water. Mm -hmm. I have my big two-liter bottle of water. And uh, I usually bring a big bag of um, food as well. Mm -hmm. Figs, nuts, <laughs> buckadillas. <laughs> so, you know, we're doing a little, we're doing a little fun video here, but this is actually how you did the Camino in 2005. Yes, in I, 2005, I, mm -hmm. I um, got the message from Tierra asking me that I want to join her on, on the Camino. And at the time I was in Spain and I was doing a lot of mountaineering and so I had all this mountaineering gear and uh, I was thinking, oh, how, car how hard can a walk along a <laughs> road be? <laughs> and I'm used to carrying lots of weight so I, I just 
packed it all up. Packed it all up. And this is the actual bag you carried, isn't it? This is the actual bag I. I, And it was as full as what you've just shown me. It was. I don't think I looked in the time what you were carrying because it was too horrifying for me. But it was heavy, but it was kind of normal for me—a big, thick structure. Mm -hmm. Um, Obviously, it's it's not lightweight. (laughs) It's actually the only time since I've known you, Michelle, that I've seen you walk slowly. Yeah. Usually I'm running to keep up with you. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I was in a bit of pain for the first few weeks. Um, and, and it then, only yeah. takes a few weeks, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that means all, nearly all of it. But I, I, the, the main thing was to keep up and, uh, and just keep on the flow of the Camino. Yeah. Which, which and I it did. was magic and it didn't... It didn't mean you didn't have a magical journey with... No, it was, uh, it was yeah. the most magical journey I've ever been on. Yeah, yeah. So if you were to do it again, which we did do some more the next year or whatever it was. Yeah. Yes. Um, but what, what pack do you think you would bring now? Well, definitely I'll go for a more lightweight. And I have a couple of examples here. So this one... Is That's more like what I carry. Super lightweight. There's mm-hmm. no structure in it. It folds up like this, mm-hmm. but it has, um, you know, it has the straps at the waist mm-hmm. and then the ones that go around the, That's the nice. chest as well. Um, yeah, and you figure out how to. There's some depart- um, compartments inside, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. You, you pack up your thing. But it, it, it's quite a nice. Fits nicely over the shoulders. If you wanted something a little bit more robust get this one mm-hmm. but even this one has a um, structure here mm-hmm. that might be uh, even too heavy for the type of it would be too heavy for me yeah. I actually like a, a pack that just hugs my body and doesn't have much structure but the thing I would recommend most is to give up on the hiking boots mm-hmm. they are you don't need them they're too hot you get too hot um, you have to wear socks with them and all of this and just go for just free your feet and go for something um, lightweight you can go for something like this mm-hmm. or if you're really brave something like this that's what I wear yeah yeah and um, sometimes you know some people might go for a good sturdy shoe but even that one is, is mm-hmm. lightweight and uh, your feet mm-hmm. will be a lot cooler much better I talked to someone just this last Camino this man I saw his boots in the morning as he's putting them on I said ah um, might get some blisters with those boots and he just swore up and down that they were his favorite boots and he'd been wearing them forever and he'd done the Camino before and he knew what he was doing and I backed away. I actually talked to him a week later and he couldn't walk. He had so many blisters. Yeah, the thing is your feet, um, when we were making the type of movement that you are on the Camino, which Mm -hmm. is really repetitive. Repetitive. It's just your your skin gets hot. Yeah, and, and it's different than boosters. climbing, and it's different yeah, than than hiking. Hiking, See, even hiking mm-hmm. up a few trails, you're using all sorts of different mm-hmm. muscles all the time, and so every step is different. On a Camino, most mm-hmm. steps are the same. It's very repetitive, and uh, mm-hmm. you don't need don't need big heavy boots. Uh, also, it's hot. It's mm-hmm. hot. It could be forty degrees. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, and even when it's cool, like in the spring, which is lovely, you'd like going in the spring. Yeah. So you yeah. get you can go in the spring sometime, but. Even then, even when it's not hot, it's not cold unless you go in the winter, but then yeah. that's a whole different story. So as for your get yeah, travel towel, it's the main thing. Mm-hmm. You just need a light change of clothes and something kind of maybe a little bit warm, but certainly you don't need tons of changes of clothes. Um, and what about a sleeping bag? Would you actually no, bring one bring at all? No, I never bring a sleeping bag. You don't what would you bring? Bag. A little blanket? bring a little blanket yeah maybe one of the the sleeping liners yeah sleeping bag liners yeah and um, you don't need any of that yeah the one thing if you do wear contact lenses mm-hmm. uh, the one thing I would recommend is just the uh, um, the single uh, daily disposable lenses mm-hmm. rather than the uh, the monthly ones because mm-hmm. uh, then you can just Put them in, put them out. You don't have to bring solution with you. Mm-hmm. Certainly, with the heat solution and the cases, mm-hmm. um, it's not totally ideal. But yeah, that'd be the only thing that I would. I mean, you're gonna better. you're gonna need some like soap or face wash or something to take care of your skin. But, you or, can, but not all of these jars and you, bottles. You can go minimalistic mm-hmm. for certain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So you're aiming to, I mean, I would now be aiming to get a pack around 
no more than maybe two and a half to three kilos in total of what I was going to wear mm -hmm. or bring on on my body. Yeah. Um, between the lightweight bin bag type poncho and um, you know the tiny blanket, which could you know double up as a towel. <laughs> And you won't pair. Could bring a little handkerchief for <laughs> handkerchief. <a> towel. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's uh I think you can be feel freer mm -hmm. and go lighter, mm -hmm. lighter of spirit by mm -hmm. getting rid of all your baggage. Yeah, I think so too. And and so much of it I think has to do with what what your goal or your intention or your yeah, we're what you're doing. Yeah, we're you conditioned know? to think, ah oh, yes, keep big sturdy yeah. hiking boots for protect your ankles but actually uh, just walk gentler and um, get lighter weight shoes is mm -hmm. a much more pleasant experience on your feet keep your feet happy yeah thanks okay. michelle thank you tiara <laughs>